Hey everyone, we're going to find the vertex, focus, directrix, and points that define the lattice rectum of each parabola. This is part one, and this is where we have um, an HK that's not the center, but it's already informed for us. So our HK, um, the H goes with the X part, and the K part goes with the Y. So basically, I'm going to first find the vertex of all these. And remember the form is y minus k squared equals 8. I can put, well, it's 4a. 4a times x minus h. Since this is a positive uh, one, this is like x minus a negative 1. So my vertex here is going to be negative 1 comma 2 I also know, if I don't look at any of the numbers, I have x, I'm just going to look at this, x equals y squared. That means this is going to open right. And that's going to help if you know that from the very beginning, because we know that it's going to uh, be at negative 1, 2, it's opening right. That means your focus is going to go here somewhere, somewhere in here, and the directrix is going to go back here. And that helps when you graph it. Okay, this one, my uh, vertex is going to be negative 4, comma, negative 2, because this is your H, this is your K. So this would be like uh, X minus a negative 4, if you go by the formula. Now. If you don't look at the numbers again, this is y equals x squared. That's the one you're used to. And that's going to open up. Okay, and this one's going to be, uh, the vertex is going to be 3 comma negative 1. This one has the form y equals x squared as well. But we have this negative, so that means it's going to open down. Just knowing these, are gonna, it's going to really save you a lot of time. Okay, so let's uh, get with this. We're going to graph them and fill everything out. So we have, um, the first one is y minus 2 squared equals 8 times x plus 1. And I'm, I like to graph when I'm doing this, so I know it's negative 1, 2, is my vertex. Alright, and then I'm going to get my a from here. I'm going to set 4a equals 8, so a equals 2. That means from my vertex, I'm going to, I know this opens to the right. We already discussed that. x equals y squared. So I'm going to go uh, to the right here. And that's going to be my focus, which is going to be 1, 2. My directrix is the opposite way from my vertex, 2. And remember, the vertex is the midpoint. So I'm going to draw a line here for the directrix. And this is going to be x equals negative 3. And then for my points that define the lattice rectum, I look at this 8, and that's the length of it. So I go to my focus, and uh, I'm going to go up 4 and down 4 to make it symmetric. So this whole length is going to be 8. And I kind of draw it this way. And you can just get your points from here. All we're doing is we're adding four to the y part here, so that's gonna be one comma six, and this point here I'm subtracting four, so this would be one comma negative two. Okay? The next one we have plus four squared. 
equals 16 uh, times y plus 2 squared. Now, my vertex was negative 4 comma negative 2. So we go to negative 4, negative 2. So there's my vertex. I set my 16 to 4a. Maybe I should do it down. I'll do it over here. So down here. So 16 equals 4a. So a equals 4. So from my vertex, I know this opens up because we have y equals x squared. You're used to seeing that. I didn't look at the numbers. I just looked at that. And I'm going to go up 4, 2, 3, 4. That's your focus, which is uh, negative 4, comma, 2. All right, I just added 4 to negative 2 here. And then I go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, for my directrix. And that's going to be your directrix is y equals negative 6. Now, the length of the lattice rectum is 16. That means from my focus, I'm going to go over 8. So, each way from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then that's kind of the how wide it is. So like that. All right, and these two points, what I did is I added 8 to my x. So negative 4 plus 8 is going to be 4 comma 2, and I subtracted 8 from my negative 4 here, so that's going to be negative 12 comma 2. And that's it. The last one we have is x minus 3 squared equals negative y plus 1. Now this one's going to open down because it's y equals x squared and um, but we have this negative so that means it opens down. My vertex is 3 comma negative 1. This has nothing, this right here has nothing to do on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to go to 3 comma negative 1. 1, 2, 3, so there's your focus, I mean your vertex. All right, you have your, um, this is negative 1. So we're going to set negative 1 equals negative 4a. So a is 1 fourth. So basically I'm going to go down 1 fourth for your focus, which is hard to do on here. And my directrix will be here. All right, so um, my f focus is that um, what I have to do is add negative, uh, I'm going to subtract one-fourth from my negative one. So negative one minus one-fourth, which is negative four-fourths minus one-fourth, which gives me negative five-fourths. So this point here is my focus, I'll put it over here, which is 3 comma negative 5 fourths. And my directrix is going to be, um, since I just went back 1 fourth, my directrix is going to be, I should put arrows on here, y equals negative 3 fourths. Now, to get the width here, this is one. So I'm just going to go over one half to the right and to the left one half and draw this down. It's going to be narrow and to get these points I just am um, adding it to the X. So my again my focus was 3 comma negative 5 fourths and what I'm doing is I'm adding um, one half to my x, 
So this would be 3 plus 1 half, which is going to be 7 halves. So we have 7 halves comma negative 5 fourths. And well, this one would be 7 halves um, negative 5 fourths. And this side over here, I subtracted it, so it would be 3 minus 1 half, which is basically um, 2 and a half, so, which would be 5 halves. So this would be 5 halves, comma, negative 5 fourths. Okay? Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.